Okay, so this is what I've been doing to get a still screen image from KiCad PCB into a uh, exported step file into Fusion 360. So first export the step file from KiCad. This will come with all your 3D models of, of your components if you have those. And then you'll want to go into show board statistics and note the width and height. You'll need this to correctly size the image later in Fusion. And then, and this is the only way I know how to do this, open up the 3D viewer. And um, you normally use this to verify your board, um, but you want to be able to uh, show just the silk screen. So you could do back, I just want the front. So make sure to turn off all the parts, because we're just generating an image here, and do export current view as PNG. Um, save it as something useful. I call it something like board name underscore top silk, say. And uh, then you want to open up that image in a quick image editor so that you can crop it. I use preview on the Mac. And the cropping doesn't have to be that exact, but the better you can make it, the better things like the holes and stuff in the image will line up with your with your 3D object. So crop that, save it off, and now we can go into Fusion. So once you're in Fusion, upload your step file if you've not already. I'm gonna do sort of a cooking show version of this where I'm gonna upload it and show you one that I've already uploaded. Um, but, no, but no other changes have done to this, it just takes, it saves you like another extra minute of this video. Now select the face you want the silk screen to appear on and press A. This will bring up the Appearance Manager in Fusion. Um, pardon me while I clean this up. Uh, pick any of these random gray dots. Choose uh, Copy to My Appearances. Wait a little bit. Um, keep clicking right click uh, until finally it'll say Edit. Ah, uh, now you can edit it. Um, this window uh, is the sort of editor for, for the material. Um, give it a name. I usually name it the same thing as the image file I'm going to be using. You need to resize this because you want to click that little arrow to the right of color and change it to image. It'll a little image, sorry, a little file, dial, file dialog will open up. Select the image and then click that little arrow again to choose edit image. Another pane will pop up that will be badly sized, so resize that. And then now you can type in the board dimensions from you uh, from KiCad uh, inspect uh, board. And um, be sure that that maintain aspect ratio thing is unchecked because it comes into by default with a square board. You also need to set the position offset. That needs to be negative half the board size. So negative uh, width, negative uh, width over two, negative height over two. And you'll also want to set the repeat tiling to none because it's just for one face. And now you're done. Uh, click apply, close that off. And then to apply the appearance, uh, click faces. You just want to apply it to a single face and then drag that thing onto your board PCB object and you'll have now a so screen on one face of your board. You can do the back if you want, but for me, usually the top is only what's important. <sighs> we